Hello folks, this is Scarecrow119 doing an Aeon intro for my friends at the unnamedguild.com Ok, let's get started then. Uh, I am right, uh, right now outside of Verteron Citadel, which is the first major city um, for quests after you reach level 10 on the Ilio side. Uh, as you can see, it's a pretty standard setup for an MMO. Got your character picture here, uh, hit points, mana points, and divine power, which the bar goes up as you kill and take damage. Uh, you've got your standard taskbar here, and we've got your mini map, and this is your flight time indicator. Pretty standard map as well, shows you round about everything you can go. Right now I'm just here outside the citadel. And default N is a transparent map so you can still see where you're going as you're running about. Right, what I'll do now is I'll just run through some of the default keys. Uh, P, we've got your profile which is armor, all your stats, as well as your inventory. L is the alliance, which is basically a warband equivalent. Uh, multiple groups joined as a big force. K has uh, got a list of your skills, which passives, which is uh, buffs, debuffs, and certain combat moves and ranged moves. Passive is everything that is passive in your character. Uh, like what kind of armor you can use, what kind of weapons you can use, and any bonuses to defense or uh, varied skills. Uh, emote has basically got your full list of all the cool emotes you can do. And function are uh, basically toggles, toggles for things. You've got your attack, change weapon, pick up items. Quite standard stuff. Right, what we'll do now is, is we'll get right into the cool stuff, which is flying. Now, I've changed the flying uh, default keys just to make it easier. So, what we'll do is we take off, he jumps in the air and spreads his wings, and you can see here the flight time indicator going down, and you can just basically use the, the movement keys to fly around. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to fly to this platform here. Got quite a full range of movement as well. And you can also have air combat and uh, certain classes get bonuses while they're in the air. Got spread, just close down the wings now. Run around in this platform. And you've got the second coolest thing, which is gliding, which if you jump off any high height, you can spread your wings and glide. So, I'm going to jump off the cliff, <laughs> spread the wings, see my gliding here. Now, gliding you can do anywhere, uh, uh, but it still has the, still has a certain limited flight time. I found in this game that you can only fly in certain areas. At the minute, I can only really fly around the Verteron Citadel area. And if you try to leave it while well in the air, you'll just fly into an invisible barrier. I'll just show you this one of, one of these just now. <laughs> See me flying along as I get to these line of trees here. I'll hit a barrier. There we go. So you obviously you can't go in certain areas in the air. So I just have to land before I proceed. Obviously you can see I take some damage there. And if you fall from a high enough height you will die. Right, next thing I've got to show you is a thing called the power shards. Power shards uh, you can basically find or buy from a uh, default vendors. As you can see here, I've got some shards. 
very clear power shards. I've got equipped them to my staff just now. And what they do is when you equip them and activate them, they actually boost your damage. So the default to activate them is B. You'll see activated golem. And that is basically put up your damage. I'm going to take my staff out. I'm going to wave it around a bit. Kill this safe. And you'll see that, you'll see actually, see it activating. You see him going down. quite a cool way to actually boost your damage. It can cost quite a lot though, depending on how, the, how big you're using them. Okay, now I'm going to show you uh, one of the coolest features of the game, it's called Chain Skills. Uh, each character class has, different, has some skills that basically lead on to each other. As you can see here, I've got my Shooting Star Blow. And later on when I get it, that'll turn into incandescent blow and so on. Right now I've got condemnation and that actually splits off to crush lock and heaven's judgment. Now I've got these two in my bar just now just to show me the cooldown times because sometimes they have different cooldowns. So what you can do is you can use one chain skill and then go back and use another. So, whenever a chain skill pops up, it'll actually come up at the side here. Use condemnation. See the chain skills pop up here. I'll use heaven's judgment. Then crush lock. Oops, dead. Now the different chain skills uh, actually have different um, different bonuses, so it's good to mix them up and use varying ones. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, resource collecting. Uh, from level one to ten, it's called gathering, and then from then on, it's extracting vitality. Uh, each thing in Aeon has a certain requirement to extract or gather. As you can see here, this silver is extracted vitality skill 35, so if it's 35, you can extract it. When you go to extract something from the resource, you have a pass and fail bar. Obviously, when the pass bar gets to full, you'll pass, but I've generally found that if it fails, it will fail straight away and you won't see the bars. Uh, pretty much you can, if you've got the skill, the skill level for it, you can extract anything. So there's no, there's no limit to what you can see, what you can get. And especially in the, in the mining areas, you'll find a lot of uh, ore. So here's more silver, silver over there. Here's ore, iron up there, it's everywhere and you can extract fish from the sea, you can extract fruit from fruit branches, flowers, even wood. So, and uh, these, these types of resources actually sell for quite a high amount of gold, so they're worth collecting. 